hello guys welcome back to my channel uh, my name is Ruth and in today's video uh, I'll be talking about five ways to make money as a foreign student in Azerbaijan but not only in Azerbaijan also maybe in Ukraine um, Georgia Turkey Russia and other countries that are around this zone um, let me just give a quick backstory uh, I've been like I've been in Baku for like seven let me say seven years and I'm in the, in the country as a student and uh, also students are not allowed to work so if you're a student and you are in this country uh, country zone this video is definitely for you the number one is you learn a skill before coming into the country so this is like before you move abroad to come and study like to these countries I mentioned, I know other countries like US and other study, um, students are allowed to work in that country. So before you move to this country, you have to learn a skill back at home where you're coming from. When I mean learn a skill, for example, um, stylist, hairstylist, um, cooking, um, photography, um, maybe modeling, you know. So these are the skills that will help you when you come here. Um, for me, I'm into like cooking and braiding. And this is what I've been doing for the past, let's say two to three years. And straight up one year, this, are, this I've, been making, I've been making a lot of money through this business. So you have to learn a skill very well before coming back here. And you can use this skill very well to help yourself to gain in more cash. So, I know you'll be wondering like who will I be giving these um, services to you can give it to the locals and to the um, foreigners in the country for example the African community um, Asian community different community you can you can you can give them these services here and basically that is it just I know you'll be like oh why would I if I go into it I won't have clients just start start from somewhere <laughs> believe me it's gonna work when I first started mine I was like I don't think it's going to work. I don't think it's going to work. But trust me, now I can say I have over 20 clients for my breeding business. Yes, I'm saying it, 20 clients. And some left the country due to maybe the pandemic and it's still running. Just start from somewhere. Use that skill very well. Yeah, so that's the number one. Let's go to the number two. The number two is bring you goods, or com uh, goods from your country to the country you're going to, to study. When I when I'm talking about bringing goods, it's like, for example, African African community they don't have like the restaurant, um, food stuff, what else? Um, like the the things we normally use back in Africa, we don't have everything. For example, the body cream, the soap, food, different type of things you can think of. Trust me, <laughs> like <laughs> so you bring bring them to the country you are going to and you try and sell it and you gain back your money and there'll be more gain for you if you're going if you're going back to your country every month as every month every year for the holidays you bring back stuff for people so for example palm oil i know a lot of people abroad they love they can't do without palm oil for cooking and you know it's only the, um, the regular granite oil they have here so Palm oil is like everybody wants it, wants it. So if you have the opportunity to go back home, bring stuff like palm oil, gari, um, a goose seed as melon, melon seed, um, ogbono. I don't know what the English name for ogbono. Uh, what else? Um, the snacks, really different type of thing, different types of things, extensions, extensions. What else? I'm trying to think. What else? What else? <laughs> Mm. Drinks, some drinks. I know the guys they like this alumo bitters or something, something. Yeah, so just different. Just think of something you think people will, will love to buy from you when you come to that country, and you you need to look at um people's need. What are people looking for? What is that thing that people are looking for that you need to bring? So when you bring those goods from your country, you bring it to that country. Try and 
meet people and you'll be able to sell very fast before you know it you're into business you're going into this business full time you can start from your apartment one one section from your apartment you store up and stop and put like create a little space for yourself and from there maybe from there you can even open a supermarket or something so this is how business is, used to start so that is it i hope it was helpful so let's go to the third the third one third one is ah uh, the third one is work with the locals in the private sector the reason why it's a private sector is the private um, businesses you can actually um how would i say work with them that you don't even it doesn't require like tax or you having problem with the government don't go to big <laughs> don't go to big private sector and go and be doing stuff for them and when i mean you render service for private sector like modeling for example there is a uh, um, beauty studio or how would i say photographer mm -hmm, that needs a model so you will apply for that and they will pay you for like maybe one hour two hours like that so this is how you render your services to the private sector and they will pay you from there maybe from one um studio to another from one photographer to another this is how maybe they need oh we need a um, a dark skin um, model with uh maybe short or long short or long hair like something like that they will just give you the criteria and everything what they are looking for and you just apply like for me i know i've done for i've done things for like um, my services for like two big brands um in azerbaijan for uh this big one um shafa shafa studio like around 2017 we, we worked together i was able to work with them very good people it was really really nice also i was able to work with one other guy from like last year before the pandemic yeah it was really really nice but they did like makeup and photography it was really really nice so this is another way you can make money also i've worked with another um brand um they needed a more a dark skin model for laser I don't know laser remo uh, air remover so yeah just to take pictures it was really this one was really really quick it was like for like um 20 minutes the sessions i did for like two different brands 20 20 minutes and they paid me like over 100 manats yes 20 minutes 100 manats so that's something the way you can make money and for me i used to like go to different brands on instagram and just message them oh if you need a dark skin model for so, 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 so thing i go for what i know i can do i just don't go for things i know that they are not my how would i say my calling so you just apply apply to them and yeah if sometimes you you they will give you positive feedback and sometimes they won't give you positive feedback sometimes some people want it for they want you to do it for them for free it's all to you for me my time is very very important i did not come here to come and count the bridge <laughs> i didn't come here to come and sell granite you know so for me i like to okay you pay for that service i know i'm not wasting my time time is very very important so that's another one let me give another example like rendering yourself you can know how to take photos and everything you can just partner with other photographers and um, the locals in the private sector you can work together you know uh, also like you can try and shoot a movie with the locals maybe they need someone for a, a dark skinned person or asian or something for one particular scene in the movie so you can just you can apply for that also so yeah it's quite nothing you didn't you did not go and kill someone or you didn't have to go and apply for working permits you know because you need a working permit to be able to work in certain places so this kind of thing it's like you're working for a private for someone you don't need to go and be stressing yourself or be scared of immigration or something like that the fourth point is personal shopper personal shopper that is the country where you're you're coming to we have stores like Zara, College Spring, Aldo, this big, big and nice, Adidas, different type of brands. And maybe the country where you're coming from, they don't have these things, you know, or maybe not even like clothes, electronics, like different, different type of things like appliances, you know. So you help them 
to sh to buy those stuff and ship it back to the country where they need it you know so this is the way you tax them per how will i say per transaction that kind of a thing maybe if they are buying something of hundred dollars you will charge them per that hundred like how you want to break it down it's up to you so personal shopper business is quite very very it's quite booming right now because a lot of things back in maybe in nigeria especially i'm from nigeria a lot of people want to like they want the iphone and they don't have we don't have iphone how will i say outlet you just buy and ship it back to them just take your own um percentage yeah so different type of things you can help people to shop for anything like see <laughs> even some people they buy like toothbrush and everything <laughs> from abroad <laughs> So like so that's just a personal shopper. So you just create how can you do this? Create Instagram, advertise, advertise, advertise. Start from someone. You can start from your family members. From there they will they will how will I say tell another person like that, like that, like that. Before you know it, you have a business. That is how business is. You have to start small. This is it. You have to start very, very small. I know we have students in China. This is the way they are making their own money. And you know, China is like the place for businesses. So people like send people, um, students in China, will help them to buy stuff and like goods and ship it back to Nigeria. So this is another way. Let's go to the fifth one. This fifth one, I know people will be like, uh, it won't work. It does not work. But for me, oh, I had experience with this one. So, whichever university you are in, check within that university. They might need you. You don't know. Believe me, you don't know. For example, I'm in the medical um, university. I've been able to like work with pre-medical um, pre students, how to get into the pre-med. Pre um, pre I've been able to help some people with their exams. And, you know, they are doing very, very, very well. Yeah, because... You know, English is not the first language. In this all this country I mentioned, English is not their first language. So they need someone with like experience. You don't even know your teacher might need your help. That's the thing. Your teacher might need your help with certain thing. And you will just talk and from there they are paying you per your time, which is very, very important. So check within your university, or maybe you have like a previous degree and they said, Oh, you have this and maybe you have a degree in um what will I say? Um uh, in one course before I, I i don't want to go and specify one particular one and so oh, we need someone that very very good with english and they can they can do it boom and you still be in the um the school and you still be they'll, they'll still be paying you so it's like check it's very very good check within your university it's very like whichever university you're in check there I've, i have friends that are working in their university and they're still going to the uni so check you don't know how this thing is very like it's really really powerful keep searching searching and you don't even i think okay maybe the you know it's the university that will be paying you okay then you have to pay tax sometimes it's like a private um one-on-one -on -one thing with your teacher with someone in the university that doesn't regard the public so that's just it the last and final one is this one though for me <laughs> i've done it before but it's just not my thing because even myself i know sabi english well well <laughs> but this i said this one is not part of the point but if you're that kind of person maybe you did um linguistic or english language or something pertaining to education your previous degree this would be very very good for you so while you are here as a student, also you can be, uh, you know, one on one, uh, meet people, and do. They will approach you and be like, "Oh, I want to learn English." So this is how you can brand yourself. Oh, let's talk. Let's start with thirty minutes, one hour. Let's just let's talk over a drink, and this is how you make the money. Per session, they will pay you. That's how it works. Like you don't have to go and be searching or go and be pasting online. This is how it works. Like. Randomly, you can just be on the street and someone will be like, Oh, I know you're from so so country. I know you can speak English. Oh, I need your help. A lot of people have reached out to me and I'm like, mm, I'm not into English. This is, I don't want to go and go into something I don't know. I don't want to like go and deep inside something I don't know. So I'll like, okay, I have a friend. I will recommend a friend to you. So it's very, 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 very good. For me, I did English um, teaching, but not majorly like teaching the English, English, English. It's like, 
medical english because i'm in the medical line so this is quite like very natural for me i didn't have to go and stress myself go and be doing all the phonetic because even me i'm struggling <laughs> i'm struggling with english it's not so it's also you know it's also on point like how i want it but maybe in future of course I'll, I'll, I'll as the time is going i'll be like upgrading my um, phonetic and everything but this is just it so i've done the medical english before help pre medical students that want to go into the uh, medical school but with english um, department so if you are the kind of person that wants to teach english and you know you have you have previous experience like from somewhere or something like that yeah why not you can go into it but for me i just feel like it's just it's it's not it's how would i say not inside the point but if you want you can go for it i know some people you don't have to know the big big grammar some people just go into like oh just let us have conversation some people don't want the the in-depth of the english they just want regular conversation they just want someone that they can speak english with for like 30 minutes you know or more than 30 minutes so that's just it so that's the end of the video i hope you'll be able to take something from this so i've been living here for quite a set for like seven years and to be i know it's for students this is very very hard so you have to think very very well which business you think will favor you which is going to sell which is not going to sell before you go into a1 so i know you have to take your time i've been i started uh, like going i went into business for like fully um around my fourth year which was when i was having enough time from the university because it was not very very easy but during the summer and you know summer break is like two to two to three months so i tried to do one or two things but since after my fourth year i went fully i transitioned into cooking and braiding like that and to be sincere it's going going very 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 well so that's just my own thing so that's the end of the video so Please, because I did not say this from the beginning, does not mean or because I have not been saying it in all my videos. What are you waiting for now? Just subscribe, you know, subscribe, like, and share. So hope to see you guys in the next video. And please let me know what you would like to see because <sighs> your girl is out of content. <laughs> so see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>